Welcome to episode 103 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're going to talk about how do you know when you're being sold? Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. The moment of clarity this week is that people only believe the things that they actually do. I hear a lot of people saying things and not doing things. A lot of people saying they believe in this approach, they believe in this truth. But then when you look at what they do, you find out really quickly they don't actually believe in it because if they did, they'd be doing it. So think about it. What are you saying you believe and what are you actually doing? Moment of clarity. People only believe the things that they're actually doing. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. All right, Paul's pick for this week is going for a walk. Everybody knows what it feels like when you get overwhelmed in the moment or you got to reach a hit a wall or you got a brain fart. You can't get past it. So just get up and go for a walk. Even if it's cold out, it's cold out right now. Just do it. Put on your Eagles hat, get outside, go for a walk, free up some of those creative juices. And when you sit back, I bet you feel a lot better. It's my pick for a week. Going old school, go for a walk. So I posted a question on LinkedIn and a lot of people started to chime in from answers. It sparked some DMs. It sparked uh, just good conversation and good thinking. And the question was this. Do you think there is more value in what you sell or how people feel about what you sell? I'll give you a second. What do you think? I have a very clear thought on this. The overwhelming majority of people on LinkedIn, I think, got it right and said that there's indeed more value in how people feel about what you sell than what you actually sell. It sparks the age old question. I have a book not behind me. It's called The Essence of Value, and it's over there. And it really asks the question, you know, do I want these shoes because they are valuable or are these shoes valuable because I want them, right? It's a little bit of a chicken and an egg. But back to the question, do you think there's more value in what you sell or how people feel about what you sell? And the, the place I'm going with this is that I think that some things are actually bought more than they're sold. And then there are some things that are sold more than they are bought. Here's what I mean by that. When something is sold more than it is bought, it means that there is a whole mechanism and system around distributing that thing or selling that thing or convincing you of that thing. There's more of a mechanism and a process and an ingrained, uh, maybe sometimes part of culture or part of um, an industry where selling that one thing is actually much more compelling than any reason someone would rationally have to buy that thing. Okay, I could actually, something that just popped into my mind was kind of big pharma and medications because we have all watched the commercials that show really, really happy, fulfilled people and really interesting like scenes and shots and B-roll and this recent one has like this animated turkey um, and they show all these beautiful things while they read a full stinking minute of the worst conditions that could possibly happen to you, like the side effects part. So I think those things are definitely more sold than bought because if anyone just read the script to that or even listened to it without watching it, they'd be like, well, who in their rational mind would buy that? I digress. What I'm really talking about this week is in in the area that, that my business is, in marketing, advertising, branding. And I really believed for a long time that there are a lot of traditional advertising methods and products that are sold much more than they're bought because there's no data to back up their effectiveness, but there is a whole mechanism around assuming value around a certain product. Specifically, I've had three distinct new clients in three very separate industries. I know I work a lot in automotive, so people think, oh, well, that, that works for the car industry and it doesn't work for every other industry. There's three totally different industries, two retail industries, um, actually three retail industries. And in every single one, we've gotten into the ad spend. We've gotten into the products these companies are buying to promote their message, to sell, to brand, to market, and have seen an immediate slap in the face of waste. 
And I'm not talking a few bucks here and a few bucks here. I'm talking about wasting millions of dollars on things that are sold more than they're bought because there's no tangible return on the value. It's it's like emotional. It's the way it's always been. And I'll tell you where I'm going with this. You know, I've always had this feeling, but having this front row seat, I start I started to get fired up about it because what I believe about business and small business is that the more capital you have freed up to reinvest in your business and to reinvest in your community, well, the better everyone is. The community is better off. The business is better off. And when all of that extra money and um, resource is really consolidated and being wasted in one area, well, it robs that of from the business owner, from the business, from the community, from the employees. And so as I've seen all this waste creeping up, it's got me fired up. And then icing on the cake, I heard the announcement from Google that they are going to be stopping their, basically their bonus program for people that sell AdWords and sell. So if you're not in the industry, here's how this would work. Google sells ad products. So if you, the company, gives me money to to place ads so that when someone searches, you know, um, leather wallets, that now I can serve them up advertising that sells my leather wallet. So that's a, that's a product, right? And they try to put ads that people click on and they buy keywords that people will bid on. And so Google you can do that right through Google, but a lot of people do this through agencies that manage larger spends. And basically Google said to the agencies, hey, if you convince people to buy more of these AdWords, well, then we'll give you these big bonuses and big lumps of money, right? It sounds okay, right? A lot of people give bonuses and pay pay other companies to do this, to, to sell things, right? A salesperson is commissioned. I feel I sell you this, uh, you know, this purse, I get a commission, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is that most people don't know that this goes on. And when nobody knows that this is going on in the back end and they don't really see the money going that way, they assume that you're selling me this product because it's in my best interest. But really, there's a major conflict of interest because this other person is giving me money to sell you something and instead of doing what I can with rational thinking and data to help you buy something that really is best for you. So all of this is happening. I'm watching millions of dollars wasted. I realized that all this money and conflict of interest is existing within lots of industries, particularly the, the Google thing is within automotive. So we have all these agencies taking big money from Google to tell you that this is a good idea. It's being sold. It's not being bought. And so this brings me all the way back to the initial question. Do you think there's more value in what you sell or how people feel about what you sell? Well, I think there's more value in how you feel about what people sell. And the danger in that is that you can sway people by selling them something to something that's not good for them. And I think that's bad for everybody. And frankly, I just don't think a lot of people want to be involved with convincing people to do things that aren't in their best interest. It's like, who wants to live and sleep and go in that world? That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. They're my thoughts for episode 103 how you can know if you're being sold or if you're actually buying something. And I do believe that there is more value in how people feel about what you sell. So make sure you connect to the heart of what they care about so that they will understand that they're buying something, compelled to do it. The fit is there. Don't force, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. So again, thanks for hanging with me for this long. I hope your day's going great. Whatever you're doing, walking, driving to work, whatever, keep on the path, keep pursuing clarity, and I'll see you next week. Yeah.